Um, let's start with Unsun, Unsun, Uns, Un, oh my gosh. Hi everyone, in this video, I am going to compare two products to see if the cheaper version is a dupe. Those two products are Supergoop's very well known and liked Unseen Sunscreen, and this very new product at Trader Joe's, which I think may not be available in every single state in the United States, but is available in most states in the United States. Uh, this is the Daily Facial Sunscreen. They both have an SPF of 40, and I'll go over any other similarities or differences there are in just a second. So if you're interested in getting a possible dupe for the Super Goop product um, at a much more affordable price, then keep watching. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. You can also follow over on Instagram. If you missed the latest video, I will link that in the upper right hand corner for you. Please go check it out. So basic things like packaging, this is the one that Supergoops comes in. This is the one that you'll find now at Trader Joe's. Let's start with the Unseen Sunscreen. This uh, you get 1.7 fluid ounces or 50 milliliters. The tube looks like this. It's an opaque squeeze tube. Like I said, SPF of 40 with a PA++ rating, cruelty free. And you can find this at places like Sephora and Ulta. For the 1.7 fluid ounces, this costs $36. So let's keep that in mind when we're comparing. Trader Joe's comes in a like skinnier tube, but same opaque squeeze tube type of thing, flip off cap. Um, this retails for $8.99, obviously only purchasable through your local Trader Joe's store. It's called the Daily Facial Sunscreen. Again, broad spectrum SPF 40. Doesn't say PA++, but we'll look at the ingredients in just a second. You also get 1.7 fluid ounces, even though the tube kind of feels like maybe in some ways it's smaller, you still get the same amount, 50 milliliters of product. So if all other things are equal, you're getting the same amount of product for a fraction of the price. Let's go ahead and compare the ingredients to see before we do an application and wear test throughout today to see on an ingredients level how similar or dissimilar these are. So importantly, let's look at the active ingredients. Those are the ingredients that are actually protecting your skin from sun exposure. Both of them have 3% avobenzone. Uh, the Supergoop one has 8% homosalate. The Trader Joe's one has 12%. Both the products have 5% octosalate. The Supergoop one has 4% octocrylene and the Trader Joe's one has 6% octocrylene. So not that you can tell everything from the percentages listed for, I guess, any sort of skincare ingredient with the exception of certain things like if you have a certain concentration of niacinamide or retinol. But in general, I would say you have both the, uh, you have the same active ingredients or sun protecting ingredients and at uh, very similar levels. Let's move on to the inactive ingredients. And with the knowledge that these are listed in order of concentration, uh, you can see that they start out with the same two ingredients. The third ingredient in the Supergoop product shares uh, with the fourth ingredient in the Trader Joe's product, and then vice versa. The third ingredient in the Trader Joe's product is listed in the uh, fourth spot for the Supergoop product. Overall, the Supergoop product has a, a few more ingredients, but you can see pretty much uh, just, just a lot of overlap. So they both have jojoba esters in there, some silica also, shea butter. So overall, on an ingredients level, these are very very similar. Let's go ahead and open these up, actually apply them to the face. I'll let you know how it feels and we can see in terms of application and where if they remain very similar. All right, on the left side or your right side, let's do the Super Goop Unseen sunscreen. Comes out in a almost clear gel like that. goes on completely clear. It doesn't have any sort of cast. Feels like a gel, but without being too silicone feeling. Maybe a slight silicone feel, but also has a slightly hydrating feel to it. Okay, so that's that side. Completely invisible. Pretty much my natural skin finish is left. Then on this side, we will do the Trader Joe's. This comes in also essentially clear gel. 
Again, completely invisible on the skin. I would say comparatively, this one has maybe an ever so slightly more silicone feel to it, but still spreads very easily across the skin. Okay, again, completely skin-like, no cast, leaves my skin with its own natural finish. I'm interested more so, I knew they would both go on clear because when you have a chemical sunscreen like these are, they shouldn't have a tint to them, um, but, or a cast to them, I should say. But I am more interested to see kind of how they feel throughout the day, how they look at the end of the day. So there's what my first application impressions are, and I'll check in with you pretty much at the end of the day, unless something comes up in the middle of the day that I have to note for you. Oh, I wanted to show you what the makeup looks like on top of the sunscreen. Seems to play very well. I did use powder foundation this time, um, but I don't see any sort of like pilling or making the makeup look streaky or anything like that. So I'll check in with you later. So we're here at the end of the day. Uh, the makeup has worn really well on top of the sunscreen. It hasn't gotten splotchy or anything like that. You can see I've gotten more shiny. That's natural for me, but I don't see a big difference in terms of one side being more oily looking or shiny. So I definitely would say that this is a dupe for the Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen. If you are conveniently able to access a Trader Joe's near you, you're gonna get pretty much the same product at a fraction of the price. So let me know what you think in the comment section below if you've already tried these, what your thoughts are, any questions that you have. Um, and thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful to you and I'll see you in the next video.